Let me show you an easy way to remember key sine and cos values. All you need to do is draw the following diagram. So you start off by writing sine and cos at the side, like this. You then at the top, you write 0, 30, 45, 60, and 90. So these are key sine and cos values that you sometimes need to remember. So like sine 30, cos 45, and so on. So you have 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. You then draw a really big square root sign like this. Inside the square root, you write at the top 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And below that, you reverse it. So you write 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So you do the reverse at the bottom. Next thing you do is you draw a big division sign. So a big line going all the way over here. And then at the bottom, you write 2. Let me show you how you use this. So say in a question, you need to know the value of sine 30. So what you do is look here, so we've got sine, so we want this top row, and you want 30. So you're going to look at this value here. This is the square root of 1. So we write the square root of 1. So you take this square root always, and then the number that corresponds to what we're interested in. So sine and 30, so that gives us 1. And then we divide by 2. So sine 30 is the square root of 1 over 2. So of course, the square root of 1 is just 1 and divided by 2 is a half, so sine 30 is a half. Let's try sine 60, so sine 60, so we take the square root sign, and then sine 60 gives us the 3, and then we divide by 2, always. So sine 60 is root 3 over 2, we can't simplify that anymore, so that's just the answer. Let's try cos of 0, so cos 0, so we take the square root sign, here we get a 4, so we write 4 here, and then all divided by 2, so over 2. Square root of 4 is 2, so we have 2 over 2, which is just 1. So cos of 0 is 1. Let's try cos 45, so cos 45, we take the square root over all this, you get a 2 here, and we're dividing by 2. So cos 45 is the square root of 2 over 2. Let's try a final one here, so sine of 90, let's say. So hopefully you get what you do now so you take this big square root sine of 90 corresponds to that 4 divided by 2 and we have a similar situation up here so root the square root of 4 is 2 divided by 2 and that is just 1 actually let me show you one more so let's do um cos of 90 cos of 90 so square root cos of 90 corresponds to a 0 here so you have square root of 0 all divided by 2 and square root of 0 is just 0, so we have 0 divided by 2, and this is just 0. So sine of 0 and cos of 90 both just give you 0. So there you go, that's how you use this diagram to tell you all the key cos and sine values that you should need. Anytime in a question you need to write down sort of sine 45 and you're not sure what that is, it's a really good idea to just doodle this diagram on the corner of your paper, and then you can find out the key values. Note that this can also help you find key tan values. Because remember, tan of x is sine of x divided by cos x. So if you want to find, say, tan of 60, this is the same as sine of 60 over cos of 60. And you know that sine of 60 we can find here as being the square root of 3 over 2. And cos of 60 we can find as being the square root of 1 over 2. And you can times top and bottom by 2, so the 2's cancel, so you get root 3 over root 1. Root 1 is just 1, so you get root 3 divided by 1, which is just root 3. So this can also help you find the tan values. An alternative way to find tan values is you can add a section to your diagram. At the bottom you can write tan, and then you do a big square root sign, a divide sign, and another big square root sign underneath it. And then you write on the top, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And below you write 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, the reverse, like we did sort of up there. Using this, you can then find tan values directly. So for instance, if you want to find tan 60 again, you can say that tan 60 is, and you look tan 60, you have the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 1. 
which we had before, which gives us our root three. Or let's say you want tan of 30. So you take the top row here, so tan of 30, you have the square root of one divided by the square root of three, and that's gonna be one over root three. Or let's try tan of zero. Tan of zero is the square root of zero divided by the square root of four. Now the square root of zero is zero on the top, so we have zero over the square root of four is two, and that's just gonna be zero, as zero divided by anything is zero. And notice actually, if we do tan of 90, tan of 90, this diagram tells us that it's gonna be the square root of four divided by the square root of zero. Now, this is the same as two divided by zero, and you can't divide by zero. So this really isn't quite the right thing to write down. But in fact, tan of 90 is undefined. So because this diagram here, tan of 90 tells you to divide by zero, you know straight away that's a problem. And so that tells you that tan of 90 is undefined. So there you go. I think the key thing to remember is this sine and cos diagram and you can always work the tan values out using just this, like we did up here. But if it helps you save time, you can also write this tan diagram and you can find tan values directly using this second diagram. Thanks for watching. Here's another video I think you'll like. Here's another video YouTube thinks you'll like. I have no idea what it is. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Who knows? If you like this video and want to see more aesthetic messy videos, do check out my channel and subscribe.